Hello everybody. Welcome to Yuki Cooks. Today's recipe, chocolate tart. It's filled with chocolate mousse. It's very easy to make. And what's more, I've even made this mini tart with the leftover ingredients and this chocolate mousse in a glass. But before we start, I'd like to wish that each one of you a very happy new year. May you have a very happy and a prosperous new year. So, let's start off by buttering the tart pan. Butter the tart pan properly. This goes into the refrigerator. Now let's prepare the tart shell. We'll be taking one cup of all-purpose flour. For that, we'll be adding one fourth of a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. Sieve it and after that, give it a nice mix. Now, we'll be taking 110 grams of cold butter. It's cold, but it's not frozen. Add it into the flour and after that, we'll start cutting it with the help of a scraper. Now you can use your hands to mix the butter and the flour. After that, we'll be adding one egg yolk and to that, we'll be adding 15 milliliters of heavy cream. But first, we'll be adding half of it. Remember, this will be used as a binder. Add two tablespoons of caster sugar and then cut it again. And after that, you can add the remaining cream and make it into a nice dough. The dough should come together in your hands. You can use the scraper first to cut it. And after that, you can start using your hands. Remember, there's a lot of difference between a pie dough and a tart dough. A pie dough, you cannot use your hands and it cannot be binded like this. But tart dough is slightly different. It's more like a cookie dough. So you can use your hands. Now you can make it into a ball, put it between parchment paper, press it with your hands and after that you can use a rolling pin to flatten it out. You have to make a circular disc and the disc has to be bigger than your tart pan because the tart pan needs to be covered with the disc. Here you are, I'm rolling it with the help of the rolling pin on top of the tart pan like this. It's so much easier. After that, you can pinch in the edges like this and make a design on it. Here, you can see it in the video how it's done. After you've completed it, then you can just roll the rolling pin over it to cut off the edges. It's much more easier like this. And please don't throw away the tart dough because we'll be making a mini tart with that dough. Prick it with the help of a fork and after that, this will go into the refrigerator for at least one hour. Here, with the leftover dough, I've made a mini tart. You can see it's very beautiful. Now, after it comes out of the refrigerator, put some parchment paper on top of your tart and put some weights over it. I'm using beans. Then, you'll have to bake it in a preheated oven at 160 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes, depending on your oven. Here you are. It's out of the oven. You can see you have the most beautiful chocolate tart ever and it's so easy to make. Now it's time to make the chocolate mousse. For that, bloom 10 grams of gelatin, put some water in it and let it bloom. Now to a hot pan, add 300 milliliters of heavy cream. To that, we'll be adding 200 grams of chocolates. Chocolates you can choose according to your preference. Add a teaspoon of instant coffee. Coffee will bring out the flavor of chocolate very well. Stir it and after that, we'll add 50 grams of unsweetened cocoa powder. Stir it again a little bit and after that, it's done. Remove the pan from the heat and after that, we'll be dividing our chocolate ganache into two equal parts. To one part, we'll be adding half of the bloom gelatin, which is around 5 grams. Mix it together very nicely and after that, Keep it aside. Now add half a cup of dark chocolates to the remaining ganache and add the remaining gelatin to it. Here we are preparing a mirror glaze. Now add two teaspoons of sugar and give it a nice mix. If you use this method, you'll be making the best mirror glaze ever. Now we'll be adding a tablespoon of glucose syrup. You can use condensed milk if you want to, but condensed milk will make the mirror glaze very light in color. So, it's better if you use glucose syrup. 
strain it through a strainer because this is a very important step. You can see the mirror glaze is ready. Now you have to put a plastic wrap over it otherwise the mirror glaze will set as it has gelatin in it. Now take 100 milliliters of heavy cream or non-dairy whipping cream. To this we will be adding the remaining ganache. You can add sugar at this stage but I am not using sugar because my whipping cream is already sweet. And now we will start whipping it. Remember the consistency has to be a little bit flowy because this is a mousse. Pour the mousse into the tart shell and freeze it in the freezer for at least one hour. It needs to be set completely. You can level it with the help of a spatula. Give it a tap and it's ready to go into the freezer. After it has frozen completely, now it's time to pour the mirror glaze. You can pour the mirror glaze over it and it's not very hard to pour it because it will move on its own. You just have to tilt the tart pan like this and after that it will spread on its own. The only thing is that you have to break in all the bubbles. Just puncture the bubbles with the help of a fork or any sharp object. And here our little tart cake is also ready here. Pour the leftover mirror glaze in a glass and this is your chocolate mousse. Here you are, easy peasy. Now decorate your cake as you want to. You can see it's so beautiful. Just remember one thing, whenever you are making a mirror glaze, there should be no bubbles on it, no bubbles. Okay, you just have to puncture the bubbles. Every little bubble you need to puncture. That's it. Now you can enjoy three very lovely and delicious desserts, which are so easy, so humble and so simple to make. I hope your year will be as sweet and as beautiful as the cakes I made here. Thumbs up if you like the recipe. And also, it's my humble request, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. It's going to help me a lot. Thank you so much for watching. See you later in another beautiful and exciting recipe.